What I'm working on today is a 91 Chevy Suburban with a 6.2 liter diesel. Um, I had injector issues with it. Under power, I was dumping a lot of raw fuel out of the exhaust. Uh, that tells me it's probably an injector issue. Injectors uh, not opening under the correct pressure. Not doing what they're supposed to be doing, basically just dumping raw fuel out of the exhaust. Uh, I don't think that it's a, a pump problem because the truck only has 58,000 miles on it, but it's sat for about six years and these injectors tend to corrode. If they get a little bit of moisture in them, they'll rust and flake apart. Um, there are two different kinds of injectors you can get for this particular vehicle, the 6.2 diesel for this year. Uh, one of them is uh, an 83.7 millimeter long injector nozzle, and the other one is a 73.8 millimeter injector nozzle. I wasn't sure which one I had, so I had to uh, I had to take one out and have a look at it. I had to purchase this uh, 30, 30 millimeter socket in order to get the injector out. You can see I just pulled the fuel line back here in order to remove this inj injector nozzle here so I could measure it. As you can see, I have the 73.8 millimeter injector nozzle. Uh, you'll need to know that if you're going to replace injectors on these engines. You'll need to know specifically what nozzle you have. When I removed this nozzle, I had crud up here in the intake. There was a big chunk. It looked like um, you can still see a little bit in there. But it was completely covering the intake hole to that injector. So, yeah, I've got injector issues. Um, they're really not that carboned up, but you know, if I have crud uh, on top, I've got it down inside the body of it, so it's going to have to be rebuilt probably. I'm looking at uh, so far the quotes that I've had are, are seventy and eighty dollars a piece. If I'm going to do one, I just as well do them all. So I'm going to see if I can't source some remands for about half that price. Well, that's where I'm at. That's what I'm up to. Fun, fun. Uh, I wasn't able to find any information online or on YouTube about this particular engine as it pertains to injector nozzles. So uh, hopefully this is helpful to anybody who needs this info. Okay, we're dealing with injector issues. Um, I thought I was going to have to buy some injectors. They're going to be fairly pricey. So before I do that, I'm going to try something else. Um, when I took the injector off yesterday, uh, there was a fair, fairly substantial piece of crud up on top of the injector where the line meets the top of the injector. Uh, so I'm thinking that maybe, because this truck set for about six years, I'm thinking that maybe some of the uh, injector pump has corroded and ended up in the lines going feeding the injectors. So what I'm going to try before I replace injectors is I'm going to take every line apart like I've done here with this one. You can see that I've broken the line loose from the injector. And I'm going to use this suction device here, which I've already done a couple, and suck anything off the top of the injector. It's just pressed there with a, with a siphon line and it gives me quite a bit of suction on that end. Enough to where I'm able to to suck anything off the top of the injector if there's anything there. And then I'll start the engine and purge the line one line at a time. You could probably do all of them at the same time, but you you might have difficulty starting the truck afterwards uh, or the vehicle afterwards. So that's why I'm doing one line at a time. It's kind of tedious, uh, but we're looking at about, about five or six hundred dollars to replace the injectors. So maybe I'm just maybe I'll I'll get lucky and just have crud in the lines and be able to resolve the issue that way. Let's start it up and purge that line a little bit. Yeah, you can 
see it getting there. It's burning a little fuel out, so the line's burnt. If there's any crud in it, it spit it out. So I got lucky, and all it ended up being was uh, was dirty uh, dirty fuel filter, and uh, I replaced the pump. Also, the pump was only twenty bucks, so I went ahead and replaced it. These filters are pretty pricey; they're over twenty dollars a piece. So I went ahead and put a primary filter on it. I didn't I didn't cut the line or anything. I just rerouted it, and uh, this filter is only like five dollars. So I put a primary on it to kind of save on the secondary here a little bit and uh, if it does get plugged all I have to do is reroute the line back up to it and hook it back up and so I'm not stuck or dead in the water anywhere but yeah that's what I did I didn't end up having to put injectors I was prepared to do it but uh, I went with the cheapest alternative first which was fuel filters and cleaning the fuel system out <clears throat> and that worked uh, for the time being anyway so Custom air intake, six inch to four inch, the four inch KM filter. Fabricator, thanks for making the air intake. That ought to give it ten or ten or fifteen extra horsepower anyway. <laughs> 